What's up, fellow YouTubers? Tom Wolf here. We're bringing you part six of Resident Evil 1, uh, episode one. In last episode, I guess Richard dies. Guess what? I saved him, um, 20 out of, like, 22 times? No, 20 out of 20 times, or, like, 10 out of 10 times, and, um, he just died in my playthrough, I guess. And that's not good, because, oh, shit. Something happens, and I don't know what's actually gonna happen now, and hopefully stuff will not change now. Like, this is actually kinda bad. <laughs> hopefully Tom Wolf will prevail. <laughs> there we go, we got retarded zombies though, we're A-OK, -okay. they're not geniuses, we're A-OK. -okay. So basically, we went past the door where the snake is, but I'll show you where the snake is after this room. So hold on, and we're gonna go here. Actually, yeah, let's push this bookcase really fast. I know it's kind of dark in here. She actually says that. An unlit candlestick. I want her to say it. It's too dark to see much of anything. And I didn't know what to do before. Like, the first time I played this. But look, we got a lighter. So this lights up uh, dark places. A lighter lights up dark places. <laughs> so that's great, isn't it? Oh, we got a fat guy. And we got some guy over there. So, we just play like ring around the zombie, and everything's okay. Get away! <laughs> so, we pick up this piece of shit. It's a little music note that I'm gonna use later, and he fell on the ground. It's okay, zombies don't have anything useful, so we leave the door. That was easy. That was too easy. And this is where the snake is, but I can't go there because it's locked. Because <laughs> um, we need a key that is shaped like a shield. And we have what is called an armor key now. And we don't have the shield key yet. So, by my doing all this shit, hopefully I'll get the shield key. And someone's blocking me again. There we <gasps> There's the headshot! <laughs> oh, I thought he, he was eating Richard. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna turn to a zombie now, tell you the truth. Shit, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna blow him up like I did to my other friend with the grenade launcher. It was a blast! <laughs> Alright, so now we go to here. And we go out here. Man, that Shamrock Shake was so good. Now I can't even commentate because of it. That was probably bad. Oh well. <laughs> it was worth it. It was so worth it. It was like... It's so good. <laughs> I'm Joe Valentine. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, man. I can just imagine her with, like, a British accent. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, man. I suck at girl impressions. <laughs> it's great. It's so great. All right. Now we go through here. Oh, whoa, I shot you, buddy. I'm still alive. Are you? Are you? <laughs> You're dead without a head. I'm just saying. Uh, that was worth the shot. It was worth it. He was pissing me off. Alright. So. Okay, there's a piano here. And look, if you try to come, like, just play it. It will not work. It's not necessary to use. I was like pissed off at first. I'm like, what? Played the song, uh, Jill Valentine. <laughs> but she wouldn't play it for me. Cause she's like, I need something else. I'm like, what do you need, Jill Valentine? She's like, oh wait, hold on. I want a better view. Okay, so over here, you push this bookcase. I actually found this before. The first one I found, I didn't know you had to light that room up. So we got a musical score now. I guess this is the sheet from here, I guess. So you combine them, and then you examine. It's titled Moonlight Santa. And now there's notes that you could play. The complete musical score, the Moonlight Santa. <laughs> the complete works of Kingdom Hearts 2 music. Oh, that's great. Okay, so now we go over here and we use it.
That was a beautiful song. It was sad too, because I finished the rest of my Shamrock Shake. It's a sad song. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jill Valentine. Good job. I did not do that, or did I? Yeah, I probably did. <laughs> Alright, so I go here, and notice the shield here, okay? It's a gold shield. I don't have the other freaking shield. <sighs> I am such a noob. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we are back here again, and it says take the gold shield. We have the normal shield now, okay? I went back in my case, and I got some shit, by the way, okay? I, this is totally a walkthrough, and if you want to do the game how I'm doing it now... Just do what I do, because I think I'm doing pretty good, but I'm forgetting a thing here or there. And it's like, really, Tom? Oh, so now we put the shitty shield over here. And it's, and it's like the old switcheroo again with the key. It's like, oh, okay. And it's like, yeah. And since I forgot to put my ink ribbons away, I'm going to get more, because you could combine the same stuff with the same stuff. So if I get shotgun shells, it'll be nine shotgun shells. If it's six, six plus three is nine. So four plus three is seven. Yep, pretty much. So <laughs> little cool fact about this game. Yeah, yeah. You know what's not cool? That the case is so small. It's like a Mary Poppins bag where, like, you could put, like, a huge-ass item in, like, your purse or whatever, but you can only carry eight at a time. Uh, unlike other games where you could put, like, an, an infinite amount of shits in, like, wherever you keep it, your back, your butt, something. So now we put the shield, the gold one, right here, and something will happen now. Puzzles, puzzles. <laughs> And now the clock opens. Oh, how strange. Let's check the clock out. <laughs> Alright, so now we go to the clock. And I actually figured this out. And I don't know what the hell I did. And I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully it'll work. Turn which gear? Large. Because I'm large and in charge. And we turn it right. Keep turning? Yes. Turn which gear? Large. Turn in which direction? Right. And I don't know how that worked, and I'm not gonna turn it anymore. The clock basically just said good job in its language. It's like, excellent, excellent. <laughs> I don't know what I did though, trust me. I got, it's just like, okay. And that is the key to face uh, the snake that killed Richard. Even though I saved him before. I, I swear I saved him a lot. I saved him like six times at least, at least. It's like, okay, well, whatever. And now let's head out this door. We won't end the episode there because I want to do a little more. A little more. I just went the wrong way, I think. Right? Hold on, don't be stupid yet. I think it's this way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welp! I'm here once again. I didn't do shit. I found out I was wrong. Let's pretend that never happened that I went through that door three, four times. And yeah, it's actually this way. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a big hug, by the way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I was cooler than that. I guess not. I totally forgot. Yeah, I'm just gonna make like one more episode after this because I really feel like I'm forgetting this game. I just know I faced a giant basilisk snake from uh, Harry Potter 2 Chamber of Secrets. A great movie. Best Harry Potter movie, in my opinion. Go see it. It's great. <laughs> I like when they were younger, Harry Potter. Uh, the kids. <laughs> they were so much cooler back then. Now they're like all like, like oh, I'm sophisticated. And I don't like it as much. <laughs> Joe Valentine. <laughs> Alright, so I go here. <laughs> you could have scared me, like, if you were a little closer. I guess not. <laughs> Stupid zombies. <laughs> they can't plan for shit. <laughs> Alright. So basically, I keep going down. I don't go through that door now. I actually go through this door. You use the mansion key. There's no further use for this key. And you leave it. And there's more room in my case now. Hip hip hooray. Let's go. And this is how you get the third death, death mask. Yeah, we're still on the death mask too, keep in mind. I'm just doing it my way. My way! <laughs> well, I'm gonna do this if I'm wasting time. A pitcher has a valiant wearing a bracelet. Keep in mind, bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. You press it. And now it's orange, okay? 
keep in mind that picture is now orange. A picture of a saint wearing a crown. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. You press it and now it is green. Okay. And this guy, a picture of a sage wearing a necklace. It's set in red stained glass. There's a switch here. You click it and now it's purple. The reason I clicked those uh, three pictures in particular is because of this riddle right here. Lisa, protected by three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. So the crown is green, the bracelet is purple, and... I mean, the necklace is purple, and the bracelet is orange. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture, and you press it because those are the colors. The other ones are just, like, random colors, like white and, you know, blue and all this shit. So, that's how you do that puzzle. I'm sorry if I totally, like, screwed that up for you. I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of boring and that's time. Well, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Use the lockpick, let's go. <laughs> All right, so now I got three death masks, three. We'll probably get four death masks and face uh, whatever is down there or whatever is gonna happen. So one more death mask, but I'm following my particular pattern walkthrough and I hope it's working for you too. I mean, I forget stuff here and there, but you just have to keep it in your case. That's it. The direction and route I'm taking, it's pretty much, I think is like the best way. But if anyone else has like a better way or if they play this game or whatever, Jill Valentine, I mean, please let Tom Wolf know. And we are going to end the episode here. I'm just going to go back to the case and get ready to face the snake. Basically, I'm just going to get guns now. I already have like enough ammo and stuff. And I'm just going to get guns from my case. So stay classy and always eat your pizza. Boom.